Hello YouTubers and welcome to East Allotments, my name's Mark um, and today we're going to talk about the chickens and the healthcare. Um, in the first clip we're going to take a quick look at what I feed the chickens and the medication I give them and at the end of the day it's all about these uh, so uh, keep watching. The first clip like I say is all about the food and the healthcare. The second clip is will show you the, the pen and the inside the coop and the girls themselves. And at the end of the video I'll tell you a little bit more about the chickens. So uh, keep watching guys. Hi YouTubers. Right, today we're going to talk about healthcare on the chickens and what I feed them. As you can see here, okay the bag's upside down, this is golden yolk layers pellets. And the reason why it's upside down is because there's a label here and it shows you all the ingredients what's in, in the actual mix. Now I'm not going to go read all the whole lot but um, the composition of it is wheat maize, wheat feeds, soya, uh, soya beans, grass, rape, all this, well these are all the stuff what's in it anyhow so I'll let you have a look at that. So anyhow that's, that's the egg layers. Moving on, I also feed them um, mixed poultry corn. Now I give them six pints to three pints of that, I mix it all up and I also add it to this stuff here. I can put my hand in the bag. Now this is uh, oyster shell and this is expensive. This is as expensive as these two here. The, the pellets has cost you £7.50 for um, 20 kilos. The corn costs you eight pound for twenty kilos, and this um, five kilo bag of um, oyster shell costs you eight quid. So basically, the oyster shell um, is to thicken the the egg shell on the on the, well on the egg basically. This stuff's supposed to have all that in it, but I find it. It's give them a little bit more um, supplement of the oyster shell. What that is, gives them is uh, the calcium to create a better, better shell. So I give them that as well. Um, this is some other some other foods I give them like cabbage and um, I give them matters. Uh, moving on to the health care now. About six months ago, I found red mite in me um, me, me coop. So. Obviously I stripped it all out, I got um, a torch on it and I absolutely went all the way around the, the edges, corners with a flame and I zapped everywhere. So then I went with disinfectant and then um, obviously I put new bedding in and I put this everywhere in the pen, in the, the coop. Uh, but I found rather than upsetting the girls and tipping them upside down and rubbing it into them I put it in the nest box where all the hay and the, uh, the wood chip which, you, which I'm going to show you later is and what the chickens do when they're laying they, they do a lot of turning round to get comfy and what they do they coat themselves with this stuff and I put this in every three or four days in the, in the nest boxes so they get a good covering and I've not seen any mite for a long time so that's a good tip that to put it into the actual nest boxes now, I've had a bit of trouble with bullying. I've got a couple of dominant birds there. You know, you got the old pecking order. Well, there's a couple of them that pick on a couple of the the more, uh, I was going to say permissive, then. <laughs> submissive even. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll leave that one. Anyhow, this is what you call anti-feather um, pecking spray. And I can tell you, I've given the birds two treatments, and I did watch one of the dominant birds go for one of the like the more submissive, um, and she got a, a beak full of it, and she was running around the chicken as though she's at, at, at um, a 1.5 million um, piece of um, chili pepper on the you know at one point when I say 1.5 million on the Scoven scale is. It was like the horriblest thing she'd ever put in her mouth, so I know it works, and I've not seen a peck that particular bird since. 
So, I mean, it's eight quid a bottle, this stuff. Um, it's got antibacterial in it and what have you, and it also helps to heal cuts and stuff where they've been pecking each other. I'm going to use this for the next couple of I'm going to give them a couple more treatments of this, um, and hopefully we'll get this uh, pecking under control. But like I say, the girls have been in there for coming up to 20 months now, and, um, you know, the... the there is a bit of squabbling every now and again but um, yeah we're on top of it so yeah that's it guys that's the, the health care we also use other like I say uh, lettuces and uh, tomatoes all sorts of uh, sunflower seeds they love I've got some I should have brought the sunflowers and shown you them as well and um, the sunflower heads we got I've got a lot of them so there we go. Let's go and have a look at the um, chickens now inside the inside the pen, and we'll have a look inside the coop as well. So there we go. Well, guys, there are my chickens. All a lot of them. All eight of them, even. I've just put the food in into the. Um, like I say, there's egg layers mashing there, and there's also corn. I mix it. They have a varied diet of uh, lettuce and all sorts of stuff off the uh, plot, plus stuff from at home. Right, so, we'll have a look inside the coop now. Now, I made this myself um, for them. I saw how much it was costing, and for a third of the size, it wanted nearly 200 quid. So, anyhow, I made them. Um, made them this box. Like I said, they're the perches, and they use them. They all... They all jump up there all in a row like little amigos. There's the nest boxes. I can actually get to the eggs from the other side, so I just lift the lid up and I put all the the mite um the the red mite uh, powder into the nest boxes all along the edges of these rails everywhere. It's all up the sides as you can see. Uh, just in case. Uh, there's a water feeder in there. You can see it's full up, clean how it should be should be really spot, spotless inside there meticulous you know um, like I said the birds have got to sleep in it you want to want to sleep in uh, something what's infested but there you go uh, this door obviously I lock it for the protection at night I can, I can lift it up a bit dodgy uh, put a lock on it there we go, so it's locked. There's how they get in, in and out. I'll leave this open in the summer so they can go in and out. In the winter, I'll lock them in. I wait while they go in and I'll shut it up and then I first thing in the morning, I'm down to release them. There's another water butt here, so they get plenty of water. They've got uh, perches around the, the pen. They've even got their own football over there, as you can see. What I normally do is stuff little bits of lettuce inside it and uh, watch them chase around with it <laughs> yeah, four aside really funner there was another ball but they've buried it the little buggers um, like I say that one there I don't know if you can see on a red uh, she's one of the ones submissive ones and they peck at the head so I'll give her a good spray with this um, with this powder so hopefully uh, they'll leave her alone and her there the one with the yellow band Gemma um, Again, they've they go seem to go for her, but I've sprayed her head to foot. And uh, well, the dominant one is this little bugger here. Um, I can't think of it, it's what she's called, uh, Shannon. And uh, where's the other one? Kater. She's around somewhere. She's she's got an orange band. She's the, they're the two dominant birds, and all the others. There she is, going into the coop now to explore. Uh, but you know, um, like I say, this was all built. I mean, the inside here looks absolutely fantastic. It's the roof on the other side. So what I've got to do, I've got to take the roof off and I've got to re-staple it. I don't know if you can see the staples where they stapled the plastic to it. Well, I'm going to do it, completely do it, redo all these um, in the next week or two. Uh, got to get my lad to, to do this four there's four rivets, I don't know if you can see them. Um, there's one there. There's one here. 
what I might do is just sand them off with the grinder, put the girls in the, the coop for a bit, sand them off, take them off, re-drill them and then put them back up. Uh, but it's going to be an operation and a half with these little devils because they don't give you the break. But as you can see, they're all in shot. There's one there in the coop and there's seven more here. They're Nova Browns. Um, they're about 19, no, they're 20 month old now. I'm getting average seven eggs a day off um, eight of them. Sometimes it's eight eggs. It's just, just fits and starts. But she's the one who gets picked on the most. Um, but she's all right. She's, she's hanging in there. She's... Uh, and that spray that I put on her now, no one, none of them have come anywhere near, as you can see. <laughs> right, I'm gonna leave the video. I'm gonna leave it here. So that was um, the chickens and a bit of health care that I um, give them. And I constantly, like I say, give them lettuce, cabbage, carrot peelings, um, all the general um, waste as long as there's no meat products or out like that. Um, I do feed them casters and worms and they love slugs they really do love slugs so I'm going to back out of here now uh, yeah I know you're not coming out uh, chasing you around the bloody um, allotments before you little bugger uh, obviously you can see all the locks on here uh, they're quite safe in here uh, security wise for the, the we've got foxes you normally see the foxes looking at them chickens look at the foxes and the foxes, uh, see that then, the, the, the orange one there going for uh, uh, Katie there I've called her. The one with the orange band going for her. She's lost a bloody band again, hasn't she? I don't know. That one there's, um, I'll tell you in a second. Courtney. Uh, yeah, she's like, she's, her band's gone again. Unbelievable. She keeps, the round the hell she takes it off. It'll be in there somewhere, I'll get it and put it back on her foot. But I do know them all now, I don't even need the bands to tell you what who they are. Over there's the one with the purple band there, that's Jill. She's the, she's a bit of a bully. Uh, they, they, they see something new in the the, the coop, the, or in the pen. They, oh, they chase after each other like you've never seen. Anyhow, I'm going to leave the little buggers um, to do what they do. And I'm going to get on with other jobs. So, for another three weeks, the chickens have all been cleaned out. And uh, they've all been treated. So I'm going to leave them to it as well. But bye for now. Well guys, there you go. Um, there are my girls. Eight Nova Browns. I get between seven and eight eggs out of them every single day. Um, they're fully vaccinated. Uh, I forgot to mention that. I think I did mention it, but I'll mention it again. They've been fully vaccinated. I actually bought them, like I say, from Sycamore Farms in Cheshire. And, and once again, I'll put the details up there. So if you want to go and get some, I mean, they're cheaper to buy live than they are to buy dead. <laughs> I mean, five pound six dirt, it's a steal. Um, you're not going to break the bank to buy a uh, chicken. The thing is though guys, don't just buy one chicken, they're a social bird. So you need to buy a minimum three. Five's reasonable, eight is good. The more the merrier, but again, you need to create the space um, for them. Um, like I say, the sentient things. And my girls get the best of everything, they're very lucky, trust me. Um, they've all got little bands on the feet, all that set for one, little bugger. She keeps, I don't know how the hell she does it, um, but she takes the bloody band off and uh, I find it in the in the, the pen before too long. I'll put it back on her foot. Uh, but that's it, uh, basically. Um, I get... If you say we'll get 56, 56 eggs a week, on a good week, um, over a month, that's 224 eggs. Now, a bag of um, the pellet will last a month. The, pe 
pellet cost eight quid for for the, for a bag of pellet. Now the eggs, how many eggs will cost you eight quid? No brainer, isn't it? They actually, they make money. And on this site, we've we've actually got uh, communal chickens. We've got twenty four, and them twenty four chickens over the last twelve months. I've made £450 clear profit and that's the, with the feed taken out of it and all that health care so they do um, they do um, make money for you that's if you want to make them money I, I give these away to my mates when I go fishing um, give them as treats I've got a lot of good a lot of good friends and they tell me these are the best eggs these particular eggs here are the best eggs they've ever tasted um, the oak's richer, it's yellow, it's more goldener, um, whereas you get the normal eggs from the stores, you crack them open, they're like runny water, these are not, these are just like, you've got the oak and a nice jelly sort of thing, they don't spread all over everywhere, and they're really, really nice, so, and that's coming from army mates, that's not me just telling you. Um... In a couple of weeks' time, we'll be taking care of the top part of the roof. Oh, you turn the underside of the roof there, it's perfectly fine, but the top is all with the wind, the rain, the snow, hailstone, and everything else that's it. It's uh, worn the plastic away. I've got the plastic to do the job, so I'm going to start doing that very shortly, and I'll show you step by step. It's quite simple, really, and how to repair it. And um, we're going to leave the video at that point. Um, Later on in the week, we'll be doing a potato reveal. And um, before I go, I want to thank everybody who subscribed to the channel just recently. I'm about 12 away from a thousand subscribers. That is absolutely awesome. Once I get over that threshold, uh, I consider myself um, one of the the crew. Uh, it's some achievement, I tell you. I can't believe um, I've got that 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 many subscribers, and I've got to say thank you, every last one of you. It's a pleasure to have you on my channel, and uh, leave your comments. I'll get back to you. Um, dislikes, likes, put them all there, guys. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. Um, I'm not um, prone to a bit of criticism, uh, you know. But uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming thick and fast and uh, I hope you like them. So, until the potato reveal, I wish you a fond farewell. Catch you soon. Bye for now.